Hey guys, Jamie and today on Roblox, we're playing Small Doom Legacy, as you can see on the screen right on to today, I want to talk about something that I haven't really seen anyone talking about for a long time, and that is Mastery. I want to do a quick video just going over it saying, hey, Route 8 is coming out, and it's right around the corner, also between this weekend and next weekend, make sure to do your Mastery, like, now, before the update comes out. Especially if you haven't spent any Robux on the game for like cool mounts also. I mean in the game right now there are quite a lot of mounts that also I bought all of them. But if you haven't spent any Robux, you get stuck with the lame Trumbull one. I mean yeah, Trumbull's alright, not exactly amazing. But I mean it's the only free one that is in the game right now that isn't like an event one like Metronet and um, the Eliguana. But also if you miss the Metronet one or the uh, Gecko one or the... Um, Eliguana one, you don't have any other mounts alone the Trumbull one. And also what comes out at level 65 mastery, the Ferroglyph Saddle. Also if you aren't level 64 you actually can't tell the Ferroglyph Saddle is next, um, but not just the Ferroglyph Saddle, there are way a lot more things to actually get in the mastery which are like you boost free boost tokens. That's definitely worth doing it, like free gummies, especially if you like do PvP. There's a lot of stuff also for like the rallying. You can unlock more better discs, like the hyper disc. Because also if I join like a public server or I just go into like a, a stream or I'm recording in the public server. A, lo a lot of people like level 60 plus, also because a lot of people that watch me also are really high in the mastery. But a lot of like just random people are in the game, are like level 20 to 30. I don't even think that's enough to even unlock the hyper disc, honestly. So yeah, do your mastery. I will give you a couple of tips, but I can't really like, give you too many tips. The only thing I can really tell you is you have to sit down and grind it. Yes, it does take a long time. For me, I try and grind it out like within like the first couple of days of the new update, just I like, get it all out of the way because of how much and how long it does take to grind it out. So yeah, I'll give you a few tips though, just also get through it. And it's mostly just like the PvP ones, which is just like, oh, used for example, Tatab. Um, use this Lumion or this Lumion's evolution line, KO 30 Lumions. Uh, if I go down to like some critical hit ones or like some um, status ones or like Cinemoth, some of its masteries paralyze something, put something to sleep. If I go down to um, Eliguan, it's critical hits. If I go down to um, Eruptodon's evolution line, also get critical hits. Fentation, get burns with these Lumions. A lot of people have been struggling to try and do these ones in adventure mode, especially for this one because you can only get burns uh, when you actually get Ventation, which is kind of high level. You can do all of those in the PvP Battle Coliseum. So you can either just join a friend or just have like two accounts running on your device with also the Roblox version you can download from Google and the other one you get from the Microsoft Store if you have a Windows computer. You can do all of them in the, in the PvP Battle Coliseum and get them done insanely quickly. But like I said, it still takes a while to do, especially for like the rallying ones, especially for starters, like rallying starters. 50 starters takes a long time. It's kind of absurdly high. Um, but yeah, even like, like I said, I have all of the Mastery done, so I've also got all of like the event loomies like Icicle done. I have the Metronet done. Even if you don't have those ones, and I'm not really too sure how Wakalaka works either, since Wakalaka is kind of like... A new intro introduction if I actually go quickly look at it. Uh, they just say like discover all of the evolutionary stages so I'm not really too sure how that one works since all of my accounts have this one done already. And even if you take away all of the, the Roma ones because also Romas for a lot of them you have to capture a couple of them to even do like the um, gain 30,000 experience one. If you take all of those away you can still get to about like level 60-ish maybe, level like very high 50s in the mastery which also puts you really really close to this Ferroglyph Saddle and just get it out of the way okay. So like I said, before the route update comes out, if you haven't got anything to do in the game, uh, since a lot of people are complaining that there's nothing to do in the game, do your mastery now before the route update comes out so you can also get some free like cool stuff. You get boost tokens to also spend when the new update comes out to go for some new gammas and also when the Christmas event comes out you still have them if you want to save them for those. And you can get a cool saddle that isn't Trumbull. That's kind of cool right? So yeah, like I said, I just want to make a quick video just telling people hey, if you haven't done your mastery already, it might be time to do it just before the update comes out so when it is out. You can also do like a, like one more Lumion in my case because I've done everything else but in your case most likely like a couple of Lumions if not like maybe five. Um, so yeah that being said though I'll leave off here hope you guys enjoyed and do your mastery okay. Like I said the only tips I can really give is that a lot of them you can actually do in the PvP Coliseum and along that you just have to like basically sit down and grind them which it does take a long time but if you know what you're doing it shouldn't take you too long maybe a couple of days okay but yeah that being said I'll see you guys next time.